Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. Hello, so we're going to make a gusset bend in tray, a 90 degree. So first of all, let's measure the back of bend. So let's do this at 300. Make sure you get the orientation correct. So for this reason, I'm marking it on the back because it's just easier. So we mark that and we're going to square that off. Like so. And then to make a 90, do a 45. Remember if we did a 45, it didn't have a set square and it wasn't long enough for the tray was too big, then to make a 90 and to do that, it is the width of the trunking. So that dimension for the triangle should be 100 mil because that was that's what this tray is. So we mark that out and mark those up the edges. I'm just going to do this by eye because they're going to come out anyway because we're going to put a gusset in. Why would we want to put a gusset? Well, it depends what cables you've got going around it. So if you've got a longer radius bend, then the cable needs to be able to sweep round and not cut through the corners so you can utilise all the tray. So I'm just going to cut this out. You could just do that cut there and cut the lips out, but I personally like to do as if it's other mitre joints. I'm going to take one side out. Why have I I've always done this? So I'm not going to change. And obviously you'd take the other lip out and there you've made a 90 if that's what you wanted to do. So you've got smaller cables and it didn't matter, that would be fine. And then we're going to cut another piece of tray. So we're going to make this out of three pieces or two pieces. And it would depend how big a gusset you actually want. So that's determined by you and your cable. So wherever you wanted it to go. So how are we going to do this? Well, you could just offer it up and mark it up um, and cut it to whatever shape size of gusset that you require like so but i'm going to do this one to the measurement that i've cut so i've cut this small piece of tray let's just measure it again and we'll cut that edge off and make sure you file all these up i'm not going to show this in the video because you know how to file and then we're going to measure this and it this one here is one two five and what you do to find how much you need to cut off for the lips on the other one, you do 125 divided by the square root of 2, which is 1.41. 1 so 125 divided by 1.41, and that comes out to 88.4 mil. Remember, everyone has a calculator nowadays, it's called your phone. So, what do we do? Well, there's our 100 mil either side, there's our diagonals that we would do. So you could, if you'd have known it up front, you could have just measured 181. So I'm just going to do, sorry, not 81, 88.4. So I'm just going to measure 88 on from my diagonal on that one, because that's the one I've cut out. And on the other side, because I've not cut that one out yet, I'm going to measure 188. And I'm just marking out the lips that I'm going to cut out. So the returns on the tray, basically what we cut out there. So if I get my angle grind out, we can cut those. Cut those out. Don't forget, remember, file them all out. Because the whole point of the tray is to secure the cable. You don't want sharp edges for yourself or the cables. Cut those out, file them up. And then when you put it back into a 90, that will fit spot on to those measurements. And we can just drill that, drill and fix as required. So it never lines up with the holes that you require. If you think it needs more bolts on there, then you put in whatever you think you need. I'm just going to show two just for ease. But I may well have gone for four on that just to hold that in properly. That is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.